It's been a while, so I thought it was time for another two minute quick tip. And after last week's video on how to create a ruffle brush, I got a lot of questions about how to fill it with color. So that's what this week's tip is all about. I'm going to update the brush I created last week so I can use it on a color CAD. To start, I'm going to drag the brush out of the brushes panel and delete all parts except the side, start, and end tiles. Ungroup the brush, delete what you don't need, and before you do anything else, make a copy of the black outlines and the definition box. Next, while the outlines of the ruffle and definition box are selected, use the shape builder tool to create shapes out of the ruffles. Once you create the shapes, Fill them with white and then paste in place to add back the black outlines and the definition box. Send the definition box to the back and then select all of your elements and drag them into the brushes panel. To update the existing brush, press and hold the Alt or Option key and hover over the tile you want to update. Make sure to let go of the mouse, then let go of the keyboard. And once the brush options box appears, Check that your change was made, update the colorization method, and then press OK to finish updating the brush. Do these same steps for the start and end tiles. Now, if your reaction was, what you talking about, Willis? When I was talking about the colorization methods, then you're gonna wanna watch this video on how to color brushes in Illustrator. That video will take you through all of the methods and explain how each one works. And it will give you my recommendations on what method is best to use for different types of artwork. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time.